First thing we're going to do is remove the casing bolts on the volute. There will be five long bolts and three short bolts. Remove these bolts with a half inch ratchet wrench. Next, we will re remove the volute and then use a 5-8 socket wrench to remove the impeller cap. Next, we will use a 14 millimeter socket to remove the impeller nut. Gently pull the impeller off the motor shaft. The impeller gasket and impeller washer will go with it. Next, we will remove the four motor bolts with a 9 16 ratchet wrench. Remove the bracket from the motor. Next, we will remove the old seal head from the bracket and the old seal seat from the impeller. You will need to find a fixture that will fit along the back side of the seal case and also have a flathead screwdriver to remove the seal seat from the impeller. Gently press onto the fixture on the back of the seal case to remove from bracket. Use a flathead screwdriver to pry out the old seal seat from the impeller. Use a paper towel to clean out the bracket seal bore and, and any other debris that's in between there. And be sure not to damage the surface where the seal will sit. Clean out the impeller hub with a paper towel as well. Apply Dow Corning 111 grease to the bracket seal and to the bracket seal bore, and as well as the impeller hub and the impeller seat. Apply an even coat around this seal case. Use an adapter that will fit along the outer border of the seal case to press seal into bracket. Gently press the new seal in. And remove excess grease from the bracket and apply it to the impeller hub. Also apply to the impeller seat. Use a fixture that will fit along the surface face of the seal seat. Gently press it in.
Now that we have the new seals installed, we will now reassemble the pump. First, we must make sure that the seal faces are cleaned. Use rubbing alcohol to clean off the seal faces. Remove all the grease and fingerprints and dust and lint off the seals. Now that both seal faces are clean, we need to make sure that the threaded rod on the motor shaft is at the correct height. The caliper should read 0.725. Be sure to dip all of the bolt tips into 3-in-1 oil to prevent corrosion. Apply Dow Corning 111 to the impeller gasket and the impeller washer. Go ahead and coat both sides. First, install the impeller gasket onto the motor threaded rod. Place onto the motor threaded rod evenly. Be sure it's pressed all the way down. Next, we'll use the impeller washer and get the round side facing up. And place onto the motor threaded rod. And be sure to wipe off the excess on the tip on the threaded rod with a paper towel. Now we're going to install the impeller nut onto the motor shaft. We we'll first need to apply some Loctite to the threads. And go ahead and thread them on by hand. And then use a torque wrench, which is set at 40 inch pounds. And that's the desired torque. If you put any more on there, it will cut the gasket and it'll cause a leak. Any less, it won't have enough pressure onto the seal head and cause a leak. Once the impeller nut is installed with the correct torque, we will now apply the Dow Corning 111 onto the impeller cap. Be sure there is an O-ring installed on the impeller cap. And apply an even coat around the O-ring. And use a 5 8 socket wrench to install the impeller cap. Remove the excess grease from the impeller cap. Install O-ring onto bracket, place into the groove, and then install volute onto bracket. We will now reinstall the casing bolts. Be sure to dip all of the bolt tips into 3-in-1 oil to prevent corrosion.
The pump is now reassembled and ready to be reinstalled in your system.